back in the wind column goes the Toronto Maple Leafs as they welcome in the Detroit Red Wings. I believe they were on the second night of a back-to-back. To go Schmank Arena and win 4-1, score four unanswered goals, and win 3-1 with an empty netter. 4-1 final at Scotiabank Arena, and then the Red Leafs' record is now 24-9-7 on the season. Lots of positives from today's game. I thought they started really slow, but as the game went along, the Leafs found their legs. And I'd say the second half of the game, the Leafs played a really, really good uh, second and third period to prevail. And obviously, that's where they scored all of their goals. In the first, the Leafs didn't play very well. And they were getting a lot of op- offensive opportunities where the Detroit Red Wings, and they had a penalty, we had a power play, and somehow we still got outshot 8-2 in the period. But J- I think it was Wildman came out of the box, and as a defenseman, he floats up there beyond the point, right? Right behind your defenseman. And neither guy, nobody on the Leafs sees him behind him. He gets the pass, he's on a breakaway, and he beat Samson up to make it one nothing. 11.57 into the first period to make it one nothing Detroit. And I'm thinking right there, I'm like, man, another chance. This is back-to-back games now where they've found a guy just caught behind your D. And that's not fun. It really is not fun. And like I said, shots on goal were 8-2 in favor of the Detroit Red Wings in that first period. We go to the second period and um, we go to the second period, and on the power play, they go back to a four, four forward one D power play. They get rid. They, I, think, I think in the first period, I believe they had the the uh, five forward power play. Then Sheldon's like, "All right, enough of that garbage. We got to get Morgan Riley back out there." So they get him out there on the power play in the second period early on. I believe it was an abbreviated power play too. And Morgan Riley passes it across to Austin Matthews. He wires it. It goes wide, but it bounces right off the boards, right to Mitch Marner on the far side, and he buries it. For the power play, Marker, Riley, and Matthews grab assist, grab assist on the goal at 24 seconds of the second period to tie the game at one. And not only was it a great goal for Mitch, it's point number 500 on his young career. Matthews gets the puck and flips it to the trainer. And what a memory for Mitch. He's put a great season together so far with the with obviously the franchise record and point streak. And now he's got point number 500 on his young career. So congrats to Mitch for that. And more importantly, it ties the game at one. About six minutes after that. Can we talk about the backhand sauce feed to the middle of the ice from Callie Yarncrook? That was absolutely gorgeous. As John Tavares tears through the middle of the ice, gets the puck, and oh, just a beautiful way. He, he baits Helberg like he's going to go to the backhand and then flips it forehand. Just a gorgeous goal from, from John Tavares. Beautiful feed from uh, Callie Yarncrook. And it puts the Leafs in front 2-1. Six minutes into the period, the Leafs get their legs back and they tie the game. Tavares from Yard Kruk and Geo at 6.37 of the second period. And in the second period, the Leafs outshoot them uh, 12-10. And they head to the third with a 2-1 lead. And in that third period, about six minutes in, doesn't take very long. Morgan Riley comes down from the point, fires it on, and an absolutely gorgeous, subtle, but gorgeous Tip in front from Pontus Holmberg, and it beats Helberg short side cheese. His first goal at Scotiabank Arena this season. Riley and Brody grab assist in the goal at 6-19. The Leafs now lead it 3-1. So Morgan Riley, a two-assist night there for him. And I really thought he played better today. I, I think was, other than you know getting caught, def- I, don't, I don't know if he was on the ice for uh, Wellman's goal on the power play. Well, just off the power play. Um, but I thought he was a lot better tonight. His legs were going. He looked a lot more engaged. And I, again, I didn't see him out there bad defensively. And, and that's what you look for for Morgan. Can you Do you notice him offensively, but not defensively? And if you're doing that, he's doing a great job. And I think he was, I think he was much, much better tonight. And the Leafs dominate the third period. Samsonov has to make a couple of really nice saves. And he hit the empty netter from JT on the backhand. Just inside the blue line, Marner gets the assist as he flipped it out of the zone. Hall gets the other assist at 18-21 of the third period. JT with a two-goal night. He re- That's three, goal- three goals in two games for John Tavares after having that really, really rough stretch. So hopefully he's starting to come out of that. 
More importantly, though, the Leafs end their two-game slide. They get back into the win column. Much-needed W for the Leafs tonight. And uh, also very important, Ilya Samsonov was very good tonight. I'm, I was shocked we didn't see Matt Murray tonight on the front night of the back-to-back. But Samsonov was in there, and I thought he did great. You can't blame him on the Wallman goal because the, 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 the team was snoozing. They got a breakaway against, albeit it is a defenseman, so you would like him to save it. But it was a nice shot. But, uh, I think it was, did it beat, her, beat him underneath the glove? So it kind of kind of went through him, so you don't like that. But it was on a breakaway, so you can't really blame him too much. Um, and overall, I thought he played a really good game. There were times I'm thinking, man, you're flopping, like flying all over the place where you don't need to. Like, just settle down a bit. So there are times with Samsonov that I, that I feel that way. But overall, you look at the game tonight, a goal on 23 shots. You can't blame on that. The decor was really nice tonight, uh, limiting second chance opportunities. Um, so I was really impressed with them tonight. Uh, jo uh, John Tavares had a two-goal night. Mitch Marner had a goal and assist. Morgan Riley with two assists. And Austin Matthews had the one assist, but I thought he was all over the puck tonight. Did he score? No. Do I think he could have had at least four? Yeah. I mean, we're talking about... Sorry, guys, this uh, girlfriend calling me, and I'll let her know afterwards that I'm in the middle of recording, so I apologize for that, guys. Um, but he was all over the place. You know, firing, obviously, on, on the Marner goal, right? He wasn't shooting to miss the net, let's be honest. So he missed the net there. He had one chance right in the slot where he just got underneath it and, and fired it right into the crowd. He's right in the slot. It's, it's, it's in the office, but he can't do it. And then Marner with a great sauce feed as Matthews is cutting to the net on the rush... Gets the puck, and all you have to do is you know lift it a little bit over the pad, and he just slides it right into the pad. And it's like, oh, Matthews, you had some golden chances, bud. I thought he was he was great, just didn't bury one. Fourth line was great. David Camp was all over the place tonight. I thought the third line of Kerfoot, Kerfoot Engvall, and, uh, and was it David Camp? Yeah. I thought they were great. Absolutely fantastic. Or is that Pontus? I don't know. Either way, I, I thought the guys played a really good second half of the game and, and closed this game out strong. So, it shots on goal in the third period, 15-5 to in favor of the Leafs. Uh, they clearly played a, a much better third. You're up 2-1 going into the third, right? And you'd think the other team would want to play desperate. Well, you shot them 15-5. 29-23 to in the game. They played a really good defensive second half of the game, and I was really impressed with what we saw there. Especially after the last couple games, allowing, what, five, four or five goals in, in each game? Like, you got to, you, you've been a lot of goals lately. That didn't happen tonight, albeit Detroit's not the greatest team. We talked about it in the last game, uh, in the last video, but they did what they were supposed to do win a game, keep the puck out of the net, score enough. It's plain and simple. Special teams wise, they were 0 for 4 on their power plays. A couple of them, I, be I believe, were abbreviated because. They were four on four for a little bit because we had power plays, took a penalty, and they went four on four, and then they had like a little bit afterwards. So they technically do count. And the Leafs were one for five in the power play, so vice versa there. And obviously the one power play goal, which uh, was a Morgan Riley assist, but again, Mitch Marner's 500th career point as a Toronto Maple Leaf and in the NHL. Now, next up for the Leafs, they play in the second night of a back to back. They start tomorrow night, seven o'clock puck drop there as they are in Philly. So they're probably getting on the plane as we speak to Philly, taking on the Flyers there tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Philly's been playing some pretty good hockey lately, but let's be honest, the team's not very good. All right, so thank you. No, where am I going with this? All right, so you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and you guys enjoyed feeling the W vibe again, smack that like button. I do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. You guys are not already. Comment down below. Thoughts on the video. Thoughts on the game. Would you like? Would you not like from today's game for the Toronto Maple Leafs? The Twitter and Instagram links are down in the description. So follow up. Send me a DM to that great stuff. The, the uh, Discord link is down below. So if you want to chit-chat about this W tonight or any Leafs game for that matter or any Raptors game or any Jays game for that matter, uh, the Discord link is down below for that. And I will talk to you guys, Raptors edition, tomorrow they play at 3.30 as they uh, host the Portland Trail Blazers. We'll see what happens. And as for the Leafs, as we talked about, they're back in action tomorrow as well as they are in Philly taking on the fly. I believe they're in Philly. They're not at home, right? I, I mean, usually I, write down, uh, usually I write down where they are, uh, but I didn't write that down, so I'm a little paranoid. No, they're in Philly. They're in Philly taking on the Flyers tomorrow night at 7 o'clock as they look for back-to-back -back W's on back-to-back -back nights. All right, well, thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the W tonight. We'll talk to you guys then.